Tim Tebow met the New York media on Monday for the first time since being signed as a backup quarterback by the New York Jets. Over 100 reporters, photographers, and TV crews showed up for the news conference requiring that it be held on the Jets' indoor practice field. The constant clattering of camera shutters lent a background rhythm to the 32-minute session with Tebow, who led Denver to an improbable playoff berth last season but became expendable when the Broncos signed free agent Peyton Manning last week. First and foremost, I just want to thank uh, the Broncos for my time in Denver. Um, it was an amazing time. I want to thank my teammates and the fans for being such great teammates and such great fans. And just that I'm looking forward to my time here in New York and my time as a Jet. And I'm so honored and humble to be a Jet. I'm so thankful that they wanted me. And I'm uh, so excited about meeting my teammates. I've had the pleasure to meet quite a few already. And I'm looking forward to my future as a Jet. And I'm very, very excited about it. An inspirational leader on the field, despite being the National Football League's lowest rated passer, Tebow has won a huge following for his openly devout Christian beliefs as much as for his heroics on the gridiron. Well, um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm someone that's very outspoken about my faith and, you know, I've never been ashamed of it and I always, um, anytime I get the opportunity, I always um, thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because that is the most important thing to me. Um, but I don't think all the attention is just because of my faith. I think um, sometimes it adds a little bit to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first athlete that has gotten on a knee and prayed, um, but somehow it's known as T-bowing, and I'm not sure why. Um, and, you know, I think it's just, um, I don't know, probably had to do a little bit with the hype. But, you know, I think it's, it's not all a bad thing. If people are still somehow talking about prayer or talking about my faith, then I think that's pretty cool. Tebow faced the cameras and questions without any major team officials present as the Jets owner and coaches were in Florida for this week's NFL meetings. The wildly popular quarterback who has won a Heisman Trophy and two U.S. college championships at the University of Florida in his hometown of Jacksonville comfortably navigated through the questions. Tebow said he didn't feel pressure coming to New York and said he looked forward to playing with the Jets partly because of good relationships he had already forged with coach Rex Ryan and starting quarterback Mark Sanchez. From my conversations with him, um, you know, he was excited and he was excited about working with me and I'm excited about working with him. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, you know, as a football player, as a person, he's always handled himself with so much class and integrity, and he's won a lot of games as a as a quarterback. And you know, I think we'll have a great working relationship. You know, we talked about that and um, just supporting one another um, in our roles. And yeah, you know, I'm excited about that opportunity. And you know, I think we'll um, I think we'll have a great relationship, and hopefully, we'll be able to thrive together. Tebow said he was also looking forward to doing local charity work for his Tim Tebow Foundation after spending last week in Alabama helping to raise money for a cancer foundation. Ultimately, I'm just going to be myself and just have fun with it and honestly not worry about what I can't control. That's something I learned early on at Florida is if you can't control it, don't worry about it. And, you know, honestly, I'm just going to um, try to be the best teammate, try to be the best football player that I can be, and try to set a good example. And besides that, I'm really not going to worry about too much else. All right, thank you all. God bless. Jessica Minton, IB Times TV.